The post 9-11 GI Bill is an excellent resource that service members can utilize once they decide to transition out of the military. But make sure you have a plan. You know, you go from being told what to do to you figuring out what you have to do. We want to give veterans opportunities to further their prospects for careers. And not only will obtaining a degree help that, but it'll significantly contribute to their success rate. I think veterans should consider this benefit for what it is. It's a fantastic opportunity to make a successful transition to civilian life, and they should go about um, really doing their homework before they choose a school. I think there's a, a number of pitfalls that we see that come up uh, time and again. So we see issues with veterans who've been told uh, misrepresentations with respect to job placement rates. We've had issues with veterans who have been told that credits will transfer when they don't. Uh, veterans have been told that programs have accreditation that they don't have. And then we've also had issues with veterans being told that their GI Bill benefits will cover all costs when it turns out that it won't. The school I attended, I took two different courses. I graduated from one course and started a second course. Two days into the second course, they called me down to the office and told me that my post 9-11 GI Bill had ran out. They started going to a university and they told me, no, don't worry about it, you know, everything will be covered. So at the end of the semester, they said, oh, guess, guess what? Uh, they didn't cover everything, so here's your first uh, balance of $4,000. They want to push you so fast through the process because they know you're in a crunch time, you know, and some of these people have really good selling points, but don't believe everything that, you, that they say. When my school spoke about the career services, they did promise career placement assistance and the fact that if you finish the program, then you would be eligible for that job position. But by speaking to professionals in the field, they will tell you that you require multiple certifications and years of experience to qualify for the program's position. What a lot of guys don't understand is the reason that accreditation matters so much is because that's going to, one, tell them about the quality of the school and that somebody else outside has vetted it, but it's also going to be critical for questions of whether or not their credits are going to transfer. There are different types of accreditation. There are regionally accredited schools and nationally accredited schools. Regional doesn't necessarily sound as good as national, but it's oftentimes considered the more prestigious type of accreditation. It's also important to check that your individual program is accredited, not just the school itself. That's critical because oftentimes state licensing exams and other types of tests will require the specific program to be regionally accredited if an individual is going to be able to sit for those tests. You have to do your homework. You have to cover yourself. So you have the GIBL comparison tool, you have other vets, and there's other options that you can find. So I kind of took what I learned in the military as far as planning and and basically transition it into my own mission. You know, these are benchmarks that I have to set in order to reach my goal, which is, and accomplish my mission, which is to obtain my business degree. Do your own research for the school, because once you use your benefits, you can't get them back, so choose very carefully. Your choice matters. Make sure you have everything in writing, because if it's not in black and white, it, it never happened. At the end of the day, the end result, you want to be happy with the education that you get to be successful because you did serve the country honorably and you deserve it.